Guess what I got in the mail? Oh damn! Let's do this. What's up guys and welcome to their epic unboxing and of course in this video it's not a traditional one pack pull or even a pack pull in general. Um, I do have some packs that I might actually open here but probably not right away but you guys saw the intro it's all about the Kaiba collection. This is the 25th anniversary ultimate Kaiba set. Kaiba. So this was pre-ordered a long time ago. Long time ago. I got this back. I think it, you know, I think it was pre-ordered back in like May, May-ish, I think. And it finally arrived in essentially late February. <laughs> yeah, long time. But yes, let's dive into it. You guys know the drill. Press a like. Not really for luck, but hopefully, you know, it looks as good as I hope it will. Press luck for that. So heavy. So freaking heavy. All right, I'm gonna try to open it from this angle. Um, but yeah. Oh damn. So like the, obviously for those that know anything about me, but I think I, I, I think a lot of people have this same exact feeling, but obviously for me, my favorite character, at least one of my favorite characters is of course, Seto Kaiba. My other favorite is uh, actually uh, Maximilian Pegasus, but Yes, this of course is the one they call the Kaiba set. So let me actually stand this on my chair, I guess. I normally don't stand up for my videos, but yeah, I have to stand up my chair so you can actually see what the hell is happening here. But on top of Seto Kaiba, obviously I, I love the blue eyes white dragon. That is definitely my favorite card of all time when it comes to Yu-Gi-Oh and it comes with not just one, not just two, but three, of course. You, you, you have to have three. And ooh, that case looks good. That case looks good. Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God. Is there anything else in here? I don't think so. I'll double check what else, what else is in there, but look at this. What? What? Oh my god, this is so cool. Oh my god. This is like actual like like metal on metal. I can like kill somebody with this. <laughs> but it, it's seriously heavy. Pure, pure metal. Well, I don't know if it's metal. Well, it, it definitely it's definitely metallic. That's all I can say. I'm not sure what exact material it is. But yes, a little warning there. My God, it's heavy. Like, uh, like uh, I want to say, this guy, it has to be at least 25 pounds. Did it even say on the description? Let me see here. I don't think it says it. All it says in the description is a heavy metal carrying case. Very heavy. Suitable for display open or close. The case comes with a removable slat. And of course, we'll get to that actually. I don't want to go into too far into the description here. But uh, yes, it is indeed heavy. Wow. Look at that. You see the little Kaiba emblem. <laughs> oh my God, I'm like geeking out right now. All right, so let me, uh, where's my, my scissors? This is probably like, like the coolest thing I own in terms of like um, Yu-Gi-Oh collection. Like obviously I love my ghost rares. I love my collector's rares. I love my ultimate rares. But this is so cool. Okay. I think it opens this way. <laughs> Let me back up a little bit more. All right. Obviously, it comes with these little flaps here. Ooh. You guys hear that? Oh, my God. I think that's how it opens. It, do I need to take it from the Yeah. Oh, here we go. Guys, zoom into that bad boy. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool. Oh man. Oh man. Wow, this slab is heavy too. This, ha this slab is heavy. All right, let's go ahead and look at the slab real quick. I know it comes with cards as well somewhere. Probably It's probably buried in there. But let me go ahead and lay this down real quick. Look at this slab. Oh my god. And perfect centering. I, I would hope so. I would hope it would be perfect centering. Wow, that is so cool. Now, the one thing that, that's um, 
I kind of wish they put on here is the actual, you know how they have like a LOB or the actual pa the pack name, whatever. But it didn't, doesn't show it on here. But let me go ahead and flip that over real quick. Obviously, if you look at the cards themselves, they don't have like a LOB or description or first edition or anything like that. Uh, but uh, that looks so cool. And obviously you see the rear. The rear also looks like it's perfect centering. You could technically unscrew it, but if you'll be, you'll be crazy to think that I'll be unscrewing this bad boy. And look at look at that shine. Look at that shine. The one thing I will say is I I, I was I was I was hoping well, maybe it's like prismatic or something like that, but I, I like that they, they kept it kind of classy. You know what I mean? But obviously for those that are gonna be buying this, if they even want to buy this they want to keep it nostalgic true to the story true to, true to the anime but that is legit wow and it's heavy too it's like uh like a kill spot i don't know why i always go to that scene but um you can literally like like i'm, I'm definitely gonna put it there you, you, you have to now you have to but this is so cool but damn this looks good that's what Obviously, I'm, 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 I'm looking at it myself. I, sh I should really be showing you guys. Um, but yeah, that looks cool. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. The three blue eyes. The three blue eyes. Oh, man. That is so cool. Maybe I'll show it again uh, wh 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 where it's like less reflective. Maybe I'll use my, my, a different camera or something like that. Yeah, that looks so good. Gotta lay down here somewhere. I don't, I don't even know where to put it. I have no, no space in my background. That's why I, I want to get like a second of these shelves or something like that. So I can kind of expand it out. But uh, like obviously, I'm still waiting for a lot of stuff to be, uh, to be moved in. I'm actually trying to purchase a new desk right now. But um, before I even work on the background per se. Because obviously, like, I got like all, all kinds of junk on my table that I want to like kind of clean out before I work on the background. But that's why it's still kind of work, work, worked out there. But uh, I did kind of clean a little bit of the background, so I'm not sure if you can see. I can rotate this real quick. But uh, yeah, you kind of see a little bit of my display there. But uh, yeah, I definitely want to work that in due time. But uh, definitely going to lay this right over her. There it is, centered stage right there. You can definitely see if you zoom in. Yeah, center stage, where it matters. All right, so let's go back to the case real quick. Oh yeah, that's a, that's a load. That's a that's a lofty load. All right, so it comes with this little thingy, Bob here. It says he comes with the three blue eyes, obviously in display, two meter feet. I don't know what that means. 61 cards, which we'll get into in a little bit. Uh, we do have those dividers. We have the briefcase itself. And yeah, it also comes with the card, card itself. Okay, so yeah, obviously you, you open up this flap right here. Nothing there. And then it comes with this. What the hell is this? What is this? Does it say? Maybe those are the pins? Oh, okay. That's actually really cool. I think. This is what I think it is. Oh, the two metal feet. So, um, so basically, you ask, you you uh, they, have, they, have, they come with this right here. This is what you will put into the the back of that metal display for the three blue eyes. And this is the the metal feet they were talking about. So you basically screw this in, and you can actually display it um, with his feet, I guess. I think you have to. You probably have to like maybe unscrew these two, maybe, and then like screw this in, I guess. But I don't want to do that either. Oh yeah. All right, here we go. The reveal. Let me uh, let me lift this up a little bit. It's so heavy. <laughs> Ooh. Zoom into that bad boy. That bad boy. So these are these are dividers. Now, because I am a massive collector, I should actually be opening these packs, but um, I'm not going to do it. Only because I want to keep it pristine you know what i mean pristine so these are dividers these i can well I'm trying to think i was thinking about if i could open it but still put it back in but i don't think i can i really don't want to remove the pristine but these i can probably 
reveal one of the dividers. All right, so these are one of the dividers. Let me, let me get in there real quick. But yeah, the dividers. And they, they give you quite a bit of it. I want to say, well, it, it, I think it was in the description. It says uh, six divider boards A, one divider board B, and one divider board C. I don't know what that means. Does it say? Like, how do you know which one's A and which one's B and which one's C? <laughs> but I'm going to slap this back in there. And then here, what is this? What is this? Oh, these are the slabs. Okay, so basically... Uh, you can you can go ahead and remove this little case right here in the middle and, and uh, insert these little slabs. So again, I'm going to keep it pretty much pristine. And uh, but it, it just looks like that. Basically, you can like insert it. And then in between those dividers, you can insert like your, your, your deck of cards. So kind of like that one scene in in, uh, in, in the episode I episode one, actually. Listen to me, old man. Give me your blue eyes white dragon card and I'll trade you all of these. Whoa. Buy my cards. Uh, and then behind it, this is really cool too. It has like these little, these little sleeves here. So I would imagine if you have like, uh, like folders or manuals or something, you can, you, you can insert here. This material feels really good too. Wow, that's like high quality right there. Feels good. Feels good. Let's put that back in there, protect it. Now obviously we will go through the cards, but just in a different way, in a different way. I just wanna see what else is in, uh, in here. I don't think there is uh, anything underneath. So again, you can remove this rubber. Even the rubber feels <laughs> high quality. And then underneath it all is just this rubber material. So like anti-slip almost, also very nice. And that's where you put the dividers. Obviously you should just kind of like follow it, you know, follow the dividers. So you can divide out your cards. I'm not sure how many cards you can fit in there total. Does it say? Uh, it's probably, it probably does say. I'm gonna slap this back on. The Kyber. And the one thing I will reveal, obviously the very first card here is that blue eyes, white dragon. But we're gonna see what else is in here. But again, we're going to display it in a different way. Now this one is, looks like a Starlight Rare. So that's really cool. Now if you're a little disappointed, I'm not opening that. Like obviously, there's always other YouTubers that will, that will go, and, go and open up the full, full slab. But that's just how I roll to keep it protected. Will this appreciate in value? I don't know. I really don't. Like, do I care if it does or not? Again, no, not really. Like, I don't really plan on selling this. Like until I'm like very, very old or if I'm like desperate for money. But even then, like I would consider keeping this because this is like literally the coolest thing I own. And I am so happy I got it. And the question remains is how do you close it? There we go. Just got to push in a little bit. Oh, my wife's going to kill me. Oh man, that feels so good. That feels so good. Wow. This is amazing. Now, carrying this around, it, it, it will definitely be way, way too heavy. Like, like th this is heavy, heavy. There's no way you'd be carrying this around like out, out in the streets or maybe to a cool like, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh meet or something like that. But like this, this is heavy. And um, you, you'll eventually get a point where like, I gotta lay this down. It's too heavy, but still pretty damn, pretty damn cool. So yes, the cards that are included in this, Oh, they're, they're, they're all the jurors? Okay. Okay. So yeah, um, this is the manual that comes with basically. So this, that, that's all that, that's included. And then the only, the only thing that wasn't included is that game mat they were talking about, but it, it was just kind of displaying that you can indeed hold it with the game mats in there. I kind of wish they, they included a game mat, but it says here, this product does not include the game mats. Come on, man. Come on, Konami. That would've been cool. All inclusive. And it basically shows you how to like, you know, lay down your, your cards or your, th those uh, dividers. And then in the middle, you're gonna insert the, the middle dividers in there. So yeah. But yes, let's talk about the cards included. So there's 62 cards total. There's obviously that bonus card, the one I showed you earlier, is the Blue Eyes White Dragon Quarter Century Secret Rare. 
Um, the second one that was actually really good too. So um, if I would, I would grade it, but it's, I think it's worth more money as a collector. Now I'm, I'm talking for a collector standpoint. As a collector, that would definitely be worth more in that, in that protective sleeve. So that way nothing can actually touch it. Um, so all inclusive, keep it all in one case. Um, but the other cards included with this, um, apparently they're all ultra rares according to what I'm seeing here. So that's actually really cool too. I expect no less from Seto Kaiba. So some of the trap cards, these are the new trap cards. They put it in like parentheses. I guess the first new trap card here is called the Tech Guidance Armor. Let's read a little bit about it. So I don't see the English version of it, but I'm sure it's gonna be the same, but this is the Japanese version where it says here, when a monster declares an attack, activate one of these effects. One, destroying the attacking monster. So it's almost like a, uh, a mirror force, if you will. And then the next one is target one monster on either field, except for the attacking monster, change the attack, attack target to that and perform a damage calculation. So basically you can, you can either attack someone else on your field or attack its own monsters, which is actually really good. So it's almost like a, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, enemy controller as well, in, in, in a small sense. That's actually really good. The other uh, trap card here is called the Life Shaver. Also a Japanese card, but I think this is the first time obviously it came out in TCG, but it's, uh, it's obviously been in OCG. On here, you can, you can only control one life shaver once per turn during your enemy's end phase. Place one counter on this card during the main or battle phase. If this card has a counter, you can send this card to the graveyard. Then your opponent discards as many monsters, or sorry, as many cards as possible from their hand up to the number of counters that were on this card. So yes, also very useful as well. And the final brand new trap card is the Magical Trick Mirror. This is also Japanese, but I would assume by the time the editors look at this, we'll have like the English versions already printed out. But this, this reads, when an opponent's monster declares an attack, target one spell in your opponent's graveyard, set it to the field, to your field. You can banish this card from your graveyard and send one monster reborn from your hand or set on the field to the graveyard. Special summon one obelisk to tormentor from your graveyard in defense position. If you activate this effect during your opponent's turn, for the rest of this turn, while you control th that special summon monster, all monsters your opponent controls must attack that target if able. Wow. Wow. That is actually a good card. That's a very good card. So. There must be a way to automatically put obelisk in the graveyard and then you can use this trap card to basically summon obelisk pretty much for free, I guess. Uh, I, I, that must be a way to kind of loophole obelisk into the field uh, instead of doing all those weird sacrifices and stuff like that. So that's very, very much useful. So some of the cards in here, um, obviously we have the blue eyes white dragon as we know. We have the Hayo Shan Ryu. I want to look at that card real quick. So that's a, that, that one is a classic Classic design, of course, from the original LOBs. So that's good to see that one. Judge Man, of course, that, that, that was always included in the original. Sword Stalker, another classic. The Steel Org Gretto, number two, also very much classic. Gaia Kaya, Kaya, uh, Kayaku Tenno, ten, 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 Tenno, <laughs> something like that. Uh, Megima, Megimi, so that's another classic card there. Uh, Gadget Soldier, I don't think I remember that one. Oh yeah, this card, I don't think I ever saw this one. Um, pretty much, uh, I, I, didn't, I didn't think this was a Kaiba card, but maybe, maybe this, uh, this is from the other version of Kaiba maybe. But, um, you know, obviously a level six monster here, 1800. So it's not really a great card. It's not really a great card, but it's a, uh, you know, obviously you have to sacrifice one monster in order to even use it. And there's obviously much better monsters is to sacrifice with only 1800 attack. The Rukaija, Kai Kaiser, that, that's also a, a useful card. The Vols Raider, gotta have the Vols, gotta have the Vols. The X Head Cannon, the Legin, of course, gotta have Legin. Um, Battle Ox, again, gotta have him. The Ryo Kinshi Powered, again, another classic Kaiba card. Mystic Horseman, the Grabbler, uh, what is that? Doesn't ring a bell, but it's a level 4, 1300 attack, 1200 normal. So no special effects here, but I. I never saw Kabi use his cards. So maybe, maybe he did. I don't know. The Hitsu, uh, Hitoshi Giant, of course, gotta have him, even though he's a super, super weak monster. And then the the Ryo Kenshi regular. 
Uh, Zagi, the Dark Clown, gotta have him. Um, obviously, Obelisk the Tormentor. We have the Mass Beast, Des Dardius. No, I, don't, I, don't, I don't recall that one. I don't remember this being a, um, a, a, a Kaiba card, but maybe he has uses once. Maybe, I don't know, in the anime. But um, decent attack, the decent defense. Uh, obviously, you can't, you can't normal summon this monster or set it. Must first special summon it from your hand by attributing two monsters, which you kind of already have to, I guess, including at least one of the Grand Tiki Elders or the Four Face Beasts. Uh, this card is it, uh, sent from the field to the graveyard. Target one face up monster your opponent controls. Equip that one mass of remnants from your deck to it. Okay. The Kaiser Glider. Invitation to, to the Dark Sleep. The Death of Feral Imp, the Blade Knight, the Y Dragon Head, the Z Metal Tank, the Lord of D, under the classic card, the Wicked Worm Beast, the Ancient Lamp, the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, the uh, the XC Dragon Cannon, the XY Dragon Cannon, and the Rapid Horseman. Um, some of the spell cards is Monster Reborn, Palmization, Stop the Fence. Gotta love that one, classic. Uh, mes uh, mesmeric Control, the Flute of Summoning Dragon, gotta have that one. The Soul Exchange, the Silent Doom, the Liber uh, uh, Lullaby of Obedience. That, that one is a new one. What is that one? At least it's new to me. I, I, I never heard it before. So pay 2,000 life points and declare one monster card's name. Your opponent looks at their deck, reveals one of the declared monsters if there is any, and applies one of the following effects. The declared monster is added to the hand of the player who activated this card or the player activated this card special summons that declared monster to the field in attack position, ignoring its summoning conditions. Mm, okay. We have the cost down, uh, the card of demise, the fiend's uh, sanctuary, uh, the shrink, the enemy controller, gotta have the econ, the megamorph, dark energy and spell absorption, and then the classic trap cards here, the, the crush card virus, the Gift of the uh, Mystical Elf, the Ring of Destruction, the Virus Cannon, the Interdimensional Matter Transporter, Cloning, the Shadow Spell, the Final Order, Attack Order, and the Gay Attack. And, but yes, those are all the cards and wow, what a set. Now, hopefully you guys appreciate me at least showing you what the cards are in there, even though I wasn't able to actually un unravel it for you guys, but as a collector, I, it's just, to me personally, it's just worth more keeping it sealed up for, I don't know, for future generations. Maybe I'll pass it up to my son <laughs> once he's able to lift it, I guess. I'm gonna open up the packs real quick. Mm. But yeah, speaking of Obelis and the other God cards, we're just gonna be opening up this right here, the Legendary Collection, and see what we get from these. Now, it, obviously, it comes with all of the six original packs. Gotta go nostalgic here. And um, it comes with some of the, uh, the God cards as well as the Blue Eyes, Dark Magician, or the Red Eyes. Um, but yes, let's see what quarter century cards we get from this. All right, so the back, it's not an obvious card. So let's see what card we get from here. Obviously in the front, we do get that Obelisk Ultra Rare, but I think it comes with every single one of these. But what special card do we get? Is it a Blue Eyes? Is it an Omen? It is. <laughs> oh my god, people can think I fake these videos. I really, but obviously I got the blue eyes quarter century rare. Price, of course, right over there. But uh, I mean, what 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 crazy luck? What crazy luck? But definitely going to protect that. And then obviously the the, the cards that come with it: the ultra rare red eyes, Derbushin. All the God cards, which I got plenty of. All right, and obviously it comes with all these fancy dancy sleeves, so sleeves, uh, packs. So we're gonna keep the blue eyes traditionally last. And we're gonna go ahead and start with Metal Raiders. That, that was kind of perfect though. Like I, I was not expecting the blue eyes to be that quarter century card, but I'm glad it is. I'm very, very much glad it is. All right, we got the Crawling Dragon. The Battle Shear, which is, it feels like a Kaiba card. The Seven Colored Fish. The, pal uh, um, the Paralyzing Potion. 
the rock or gutter number one this time. The germ infection. The ancient lizard warrior. We have the Muka Muka. And we do pull an ultra rare. The battle, or sorry, the barrel dragon. Oh yes, one of Bad Keith's monsters. I love op opening nostalgia cards. All right, so the barrel dragon is $11 and 95 cents. So definitely, definitely sleeve worthy. Let's go ahead and open up the feral serpents next. We had the flying uh, Kamakiri, number two. The Bombardment Beetle. The Regulation of Tribe. The Oni Tank T34. The Seven Completed, another Bandit Keith. We have the Steel Orger Gretto, number two. The Type Zero Magic Crusher. The uh, Science Soldier. Science! The Monster Recovery is the final card and only a rare price right over there. All right, next we're going to Spell Rulers, which in original, of course, was Magic Rulers until Magic the Gathering was like, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. This is the exact wording in the court of law. All right, we have the Rising Air Current. The uh, Malevolent Nuzzle, I think. Malevolent? Me I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that word. Mystic Plasma Zone. The Gaia Power. Power! The Turtle Oaf. The Ho Horn of Light. The hamburger recipe. The stone gretto, stone or gretto, and the giant germ. So no ultra rares there. All right, going next to the invasion of chaos. All right, we have the Ojama Delta Hurricane. The Gora Turtle of Illusions. The Chaos Greed. Dimension Distortion. The Lord Poison. The Neo Bug. The Thunder Crash. The Hero Emerges. The Delago is the final card, only a rare. All right, Dark Crisis, and then we get into the, the Legend of Blue Eyes pack. All right, we have the Acrobat Monkey. Now, the Dark Crisis, of course, is only included in the Legendary uh, collection. So there's no actually booster packs, um, box you can get from it. Um, that'd be kind of cool if it was, but I'm kind of glad to keep it, keep it exclusive to this. To some degree, to some degree. I do want to get more though. The uh, Vile Palm Archfiend looks pretty cool. The Fairy of the Spring. The Drag Down Into the Grave. And the Legendary Flame Lord. So only a rare on that one. All right, so the only Ultra we got was from uh, Metal Raiders, can we somehow get a ultra rare from the Blue Eyes pack? Let's do this, guys. Press a like for luck. All right, one, two, three, four. All right, the Mammoth Graveyard. The uh, Spike Cedra. The Violet Crystal. The Steel Orger Gretto, number one. The Dark World Thorns. We have Yami. The Silver Bow and Arrow. The Batik Angel. 
And the final card, not the card you want at all, <laughs> the Flower Wolf. But yeah, so no great cards there. Obviously, we did get the, the Barrel uh, Dragon card, and we did get, go ahead and get the quarter century of the card that really matters for this set, and as the Blue Eyes White Dragon. So yes, guys, what an amazing, amazing unboxing and unpacking. Un Back in, yeah, that, that, that word, that, that is a word, right? Yeah, it is, it should be. But anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for the review. I've been, obviously this is a great opening for me, especially as a collector, because obviously now I got a cool ass display. I got that big ass briefcase, uh, if you can see it. Can you see it? Yeah, right there, right there. Yeah, that one right there. I, I, like, I personally don't think I'll ever use that in public. It will just be kind of like in the, in the background, the display, but Honestly, the coolest, coolest thing that I can possibly get um, right now uh, in terms of like what I want from my background and my, as a collector and whatnot. But if you guys enjoy any of these old school pack openings, I do have a bunch of Metal Raiders and stuff like that. I, I, did, I did open up the Legend of Blue Eyes packs. Obviously, check th those out, part one and part two, obviously, uh, to get more of the Kaiba feel. But I do have a lot more of these classic old school packs that I have not opened um, only because I've been so busy with opening other packs, but I do want to get into like Metal Raiders, Battle Serpents, Invasion of Chaos, and all those other packs of spell rulers. Hopefully I can get all of it done in this year, but there's no guarantee I get through all of it because there's always new packs coming out every single week and all, all, always new verses that I want to do and other craziness that is in Yu-Gi-Oh! And that's just Yu-Gi-Oh! side. Obviously, I, I do some Pokemon stuff as well from, from time to time, but for the most part, we do say mostly Yu-Gi-Oh! focus. But anyway, enough rambling, guys, and self-promotion. If you guys are interested on like what binders I use or like what, what, what sleeves I use, check out my affiliate link down below. Help support the show. And of course, you can, you can protect your cards as well and also sleeve it up and, and all that goodness that is as a collector. Anyway, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for the view. And I'll definitely see you next time. My name is Talos. This was the Kaiba 25th Anniversary Ultimate Collection Set. And I'll definitely see you next time. Peace!